Sometimes it can be shitty when there's a game you really want. You wait a really long time, it takes bloody years to come. But what about those games that you just don't get to play? They were not released in the US, but places like the UK. many friends But what does this have to do with this song? It's games that yanks come back For this episode of Games Yanks Can't Wank, Screw Attack Europe would first like to apologize in respects to their recent accusation that Jet Set Willy was an impossibly hard game. It's an absolute walk in the park compared to our next game, Monty on the Run. Released in 1985 on the Commodore 64, the ZX Spectrum and the Amstrad CPC, the game involves Monty on the Run, hence the title, from the authorities after intervening in a miner strike by stealing some coal. What a mole would want coal for in the first place is anyone's guess. The thieving rascal. So you make your way through Monty's house. How a mole got on a property ladder is... Oh, I've done that joke already, yeah. Avoiding various ghosts, smiley faces, teapots, and whatever the hell that is. As we said before, this game is unbelievably hard. So hard, it makes a banyan tree in Jet Set Willy look like a wussy bonsai tree. It's just like everything's out to get you. Whether it's ill-timing things crushing you like, well, a whack-a-mole, power-ups that actually kill you, or strangely placed rivers of flowing poo. As you can probably hear, the music is absolutely kick-ass. Written by industry legend Rob Hubbard, it's been voted countless times as the number one retro video game theme of all time. Monty also spawned two sequels in the guide of Alf Zane Monty and a little later on Impossimol. The game was even ported to the Famicom in Japan by Jalico, but for some odd reason they changed everything about the game, leaving only the original name intact. Monty was even turned into an escaped prisoner for gosh sake. Why well, a human want to steal coal? Oh, I just drew a third time. Bang! So if you're a masochistic gamer who loves torturing themselves with all-time near-impossible classic titles, you can't go wrong digging up your Commodore 64 and looking at this underground fella. 